Hello, and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today, we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Renee, which right now has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,001 millibars, and is moving west-northwest at 12 miles an hour. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now, let's move on to the other details of this storm. Warnings and cones. So, there have been tropical storm warnings issued for the Cape Verde Islands as this tropical storm pushes through and eventually will become a hurricane as it starts to turn toward the northwest. Now, let's move on. Rival time of winds, wind speed probabilities. So, with this storm, you have the highest chance of those tropical storm force winds between now and Wednesday 8 a.m. Right, currently, right now. This could always change as this is forecast to become a hurricane, but that is in the next three to five days. Cape Verde Islands will be affected by this storm, and they will be affected by most likely a landfall. Now, that might keep this storm very weak for a little bit longer. Right now, it's a very minimal tropical storm, but eventually, as it moves out into open waters, it could become Hurricane, maybe Cat 2, possibly, but I haven't seen Cat 1. Now, let's move on to the satellite imagery. So, right now, good center of circulation, good thunderstorm activity. Definitely looking, at, looking like a tropical storm, and we can start to see those outer bands starting to work their way into Cape Verde Islands, and then a oh, nice cluster at the end, cluster of thunderstorms impacting parts of the Cape Verde Islands. So let's move on to the current storm information. Global and hurricane forecast models are showing the general trend that this is going to start to take a turn to the north. Whether it completes a full 180 turn or not is debatable, as some some models show that this will kind of stay more east-west instead of north-south. Some saying that it's going to pull off a little bit earlier. We just have to wait and see with that. GFS ensembles kind of showing this stalling out over here after it does a full 180. That is possible. Um, but let's look at the GEFS. Also showing some sort of stalling action here. Intensity guidance showing that this will become a category one hurricane three to four actually even more probably near five or six models Showing that right around 84 hours so three and a half days from now that this will be a Category definitely a category one possibly a category two then it starts to either level out or lose intensity Now let's move on to the GFS. Here's Renee. We can see it tracks up, starts to do that turn, makes that full 180, and then this model is showing that it actually turns back to the south. So it kind of does a full loop moving back toward parts of Morocco and then kind of dissipates there. Another thing I want to talk about, I already talked about it earlier with my Tropical Storm Paulette video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it at the end of the video. But, this is the most active part of the hurricane season, and the GFS is definitely showing that. So, there's Paulette. It's showing Paulette there, Renee there. Then it's showing this next wave coming off. That would be Sally. Then, at the end here... It was earlier showing another tropical storm showing Teddy. So, with this peak hurricane season coming up here in three days, we could be seeing the Greek alphabet by the end of this month. That is insane. So, we definitely have to watch this Atlantic Basin right now as it might produce three storms it already has produced two but three storms in the in one week so renee earliest named are storm 
on record. So, we just have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.